Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel this is Abhinav Bengala and I'm back with a new video and uh, this video is the third video of my series that I have been started in my youtube channel that is the BTEC series and in this video I'm going to tell you about the syllabus that is covered in the third year BTEC computer science engineering stream so that sounds interesting let's get into the topic <laughs> As usual, there are two semesters in third year of BTEC, that is 3.1 and 3.2. Let's first discuss about all the topics in 3.1 semester. The subjects that I am going to discuss with you is the R16 regulation subjects and also from the JNTUH curriculum. The first subject in the computer science branch for BTEC third year first semester is design and analysis of algorithms that is DAA DA. Design and analysis of the algorithms is totally depends on the different types of algorithms that are used by a CSE student like binary sort, sorting algorithm, searching algorithms, binary search, merge sort, quick sort, etc. All these stuffs are discussed in this subject. Let's get into the details of chapter wise units. The first chapter is the introduction for DA and also the divide and conquer rule. The second chapter is disjoint set operations and backtracking and the third chapter is greedy method and the fourth chapter is dynamic programming and the last chapter in this subject is branch and bound and NP hard and MP complete problems. These are the five chapters in this subject. Now let's get into the second subject that is the data communications and computer networks. Its short form is DCCN. This subject totally depends on the networking side. Like for example, how a WhatsApp message is sent from one sender to a receiver. The total details about the network traffic, how it goes are explained in this chapter. So now let's get into the chapter wise details of this subject. The first chapter in this is data communication and some basic information. And introduction topic and the second chapter is about data link layer this is the first layer in the transmission of a network from a sender to a receiver the third chapter in this list is network layer the fourth one in this list is transport layer and the final chapter in this list is the application layer which is just like the user interface of the app that you are using like whatsapp facebook twitter etc third subject in the list is software engineering this subject gets deeper into the software engineering terms like use case diagrams, class diagrams, sequential diagrams and all these diagrams to just give the relation between the class and entities there are ER diagrams also included in this subject but let's get into the chapters of this subject the first chapter in this is the introduction to software engineering and the second one is about the software requirements and the third chapter in the list is design engineering and the fourth one is testing strategies and the final chapter in this subject is risk management and quality management all these topics are very much important and crucial when you are going for a development of a project or any software for the companies and the next subject in the list is fundamentals of management this is uh, somewhat like a management subject that is a business oriented subject and the chapters in this subject are the introduction is the first unit and the second chapter is planning and decision making this is mostly done in the management side by the higher authorities of an organization and the third chapter in the list is organization and hrm that is the human resource management and the fourth chapter is leading and motivation this tells about the leadership qualities and how to motivate the co-workers in an organization by the team leaders and all the aspects of the leadership and the last chapter in the list is controlling and the fifth subject in the 3-1 semester is an open elective that is any subject from all the branches like mechanical, triple E, EC or CSC or IT can be taken and added into your curriculum. In my case, I have studied about disaster management that totally deals with how a NDRF or HDRF team works when the disaster happens and what are the rules and what are the guidelines to be followed and all the stuff is there in the subject like that there are different open elective subjects recommended by the universities so you have to just select any one of the subject and write the test now the next subject in the list is about daa lab that is the design and analysis of algorithms lab most of the programs in this lab are written in java language so that you can actually learn about how the algorithms actually work and how they are actually executed the next lab in the list is computer networks lab this is the dccn lab that i have told earlier the next lab in the list is software engineering lab two sample examples are given in this subject where you have to solve them and uh, draw the respect Active use case sequential class diagrams and activity diagrams and etc all the diagrams for each and every experiment 
the list of experiments are first one is course management system the second one is easy leave third one is e-bidding and the last one in this subject is electronic cash counter all these are simple projects where you have to draw the related sequential and all the use case diagrams and er diagram implementation in this lab final subject in the 3 1 semester is professional ethics this is just like a, a general subject like environmental science and gender sensitization labs in the previous years that i have discussed in the previous videos let's get to the chapters wise first one is the introduction and the second chapter is basic theories about the professional ethics and the third chapter in the list is professional practices in engineering and the fourth one is workplace rights and responsibilities that is the rights that are provided to the employees in their workplace and their responsibilities associated with the job and the final chapter is global issues in professional ethics with this we have completed our 3-1 semester subjects now let's get into the 3-2 semester the first subject in 3-2 semester is the compiler design the first chapter in this is introduction and lexical analysis and the second chapter in the list is syntax analysis and the third chapter in the list is syntax directed translation and intermediate code generator and the fourth chapter in the list is runtime environment and code generation and the fifth chapter in the list is machine independent optimization this subject is considered as one of the toughest subject in the csc branch the next subject in the list is wt that is web technologies this subject totally deals with the html css javascript and php languages that are used for developing a website it also deals with the front end and back end of a website let's get into the detailed chapters in this the first chapter in the list is introduction to php and the second chapter in the list is xml and the third chapter in the list is introduction to serverless and the fourth chapter in the list is introduction to jsp and the final chapter in the list is client side scripting the next subject in the list is cryptography and network security let us take an example of a message being sent from whatsapp from the sender to a receiver a plain text that is sent from the sender is directly sent to the receiver but in between the data is encrypted so that the other person on the network will not be able to crack what is the actual message that is sent by the sender to the receiver this is called as an encryption and this total subject deals with this concept so let's get into the chapters first first chapter in the list is some security concepts and the cryptographic concepts and techniques the second chapter in the list is symmetric key ciphers and asymmetric key ciphers third chapter in the list is cryptographic hash functions and key management and distribution and the fourth chapter in the list is transport level security and wireless network security the final chapter in the list is email security and case study on cryptography and security and the next subject in three to semester is professional elective one the subjects in this list are different for different universities in my case i have chosen design pattern subject let's get into the chapters of this subject first one is the introduction and the second chapter is is designing a document editor and the third chapter in the list is creational patterns and the fourth one in the list is structural patterns and the last one in the list is behavioral patterns the subjects in professional elective one for j and 2 h are on the screen the next subject in the list is open elective two i have chosen intellectual property rights subject as my open elective two this subject totally deals with the patents trademarks copyrights all these stuff this is also related to the management side of the subject not totally related to csc so now let's get into the next chapter that is the tns that is cryptography and network security lab this lab has the languages like c and java both the languages can be used for coding the security and creating the cryptographic algorithms the next lab in this list is web technologies lab in this we use mysql xamp to connect to the database side and html css javascript for the front end side for the website few questions are also asked as given here on the screen the last subject in the third year btech csc is advanced english communication skills lab this teaches us about improving our writing skills reading skills and speaking skills and listening skills so let's get into the chapters in this first the first chapter in the list is interpersonal communication and building vocabulary and the second one in the list is reading comprehension and the third one in the list is writing skills and the fourth one in the list is presentation skills and the fifth one in the list is group discussion and interview skill as you are in the third year these five topics are very much helpful for you to getting placed in the campus placements and these all five topics are very much important for cracking the job that you wish to that's all guys i hope you got a clear idea about how a btech third year second semester csc subjects look like if you like this video drop us a like down below and don't forget to share this video to your friends for more interesting videos like this hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you not miss my videos whenever i post them on the youtube that's it from me today guys see you next time